I'm going to show you how I thread a bobbin. It's really important that you get an even wind on your bobbin because otherwise you could get bird's nests, it could pull, it won't stitch properly. So put your thread in and thread it however your machine tells you to wind the bobbin. With mine, I go through this here, then I go under this at the back and round the screw head. Now with your bobbin, make sure it's the right bobbin for your machine. Also, you get different size bobbins, different widths, believe it or not. So uh, some also are curved. Uh, these plastic bits curved. There's different types of bobbins. Let me see if I can find a different one. You can have these type of bobbins where they're curved. I don't know if you can see that. And again, they're a different size. So you need to make sure you have the correct bobbin for your machine. Even though those look very close, they are a different thickness. So you may be able to get away with those, but Generally, as a rule, use the bobbin that your machine manufacturers recommend. Find the hole in your bobbin, take your thread and push it from the centre to the outside and pull the thread through. So it's only gone through one hole. So it's through one hole. Now, push your bobbin with your thread sticking out the top and hold your thread. I'm going to hold both of my threads because this machine, sometimes it gets caught around the bottom here and I have to cut it out. So initially I'm going to hold both. This one a bit looser than this one and just let it wind and then I'll let go. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but the thread's moving up and down the bobbin as it winds and that's given a nice even wind all the way through your bobbin and you want it that's how you want to do your bobbin so that your thread doesn't catch in your bobbin holder and cause problems when you're sewing. Now I just take my scissors and I'll cut this little bit off at the top if I can grab hold of it. So the bit that was sticking out at the top just cut that off and cut your thread and there we have a nice neat round bobbin.